Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. The Daily Compliance News for August 20th, 2021, the No Responsibility Edition. And we begin with that story from the New York Times as Sackler family matriarch, or rather patriarch, Richard Sackler, says his family and the Purdue Pharmaceutical Company bear no, as in zero, responsibility for the opioid crisis. Deep into his third hour of testimony in federal bankruptcy court, the former president and CEO, Uh, said that the family no had no responsibility, nor did uh, Purdue Pharma. Uh, Fairly amazing statement uh, showing a complete lack of contrition and lack of uh, responsibility by clearly the company that caused the opioid crisis in America. Next up, from the Wall Street Journal, Risk and Compliance Journal, Mingi Sun reporting, the operator of the Helix Bitcoin Mixer, pleads guilty Larry Dean Harmon, who allegedly laundered $300 million in crypto on dark net markets, will forfeit more than 4,400 bitcoins worth about $200 million uh, to the government and can face up to 20 years in prison. A bitcoin mixer, he pled guilty to conspiracy to launder monetary instruments. He's uh, a Bitcoin, a virtual coin mixer, charges customers a fee to send cryptocurrencies to a designated address in a manner designed to conceal the source of the uh, owner, source or owner of the currency. Uh, The DOJ uh, investigated uh, in coordination with the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network, a Department of Treasury bureau. Next up, the Rather, Alexander Navalny calls for tougher action on global on the fight against global corruption. As reported in The Guardian, the jailed Russian opposition leader has written from behind bars to urge Western politicians to take meaningful action against the global corruption and impose personal sanctions against oligarch in the entourage of Russian President Putin. Writing in The Guardian before the first anniversary of his poisoning on August 20 of last year, he lambasted Western leaders for not doing more to tackle what he admits is a tricky issue. He said his own survival after being exposed to the poison was only down to the incompetence and corruption inside Russia's FSB spy agency. So another call for greater uh, fight against global corruption. Finally, we end with a Taft-Hartley. This is a a nod to my uh, labor relations background from graduate school. Eric Lawrence reporting in the Detroit Free Press, press, a first-time contributor to the Daily Compliance News, wrote that the um, automobile manufacturer now known as Stellantis uh, has agreed to pay $30 million for uh, Taft-Hartley violations, but really corruption because it was bribing uh, UAW UAW union officials. The FCA settlement uh, is the largest ever based upon Taft-Hartley. It's not typically something we see in the anti-corruption world, but it reminds us once again that domestic corruption exists and it needs to be uh, fought out, sought out and fought out and was in this case. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow.